Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Aries. For the week starting the 25th of March. This is an incredible, interesting, spiritually amazing week. And it has a lot going on. It's very, very challenging in lots of ways. It's enlightening. And the magic and the intensity of the double yod I talked about on the 21st of December is coming back. So the first thing to think about, actually, is whatever was going on for you toward the end of December after the 21st, whatever lessons that came up for you, however you felt enlightened, all of that energy is coming back. So whether it's good, bad or indifferent, it's the tail end of it. It's another dimension that you have to deal with connected to that vibe. Now, if that wasn't enough, we also have on the 27th a full moon. Full moons are peak emotional experiences. We may have intuitions, we may be oversensitive, we may be very emotional, or, or they can be very positive, depending on if you tune into them in the right way or what your lesson is connected to them. And for you, the lesson is all about relationships. Your focus is on relationships. There should be a peak experience on the 27th connect or a revelation connected to relationships. And on the 29th, Sun, Venus and Uranus are all conjunct in your sign. And you're feeling as if you are changing and transforming and growing. And this is leading up to the week getting more and more emotional because on the 29th, the Moon and Saturn. Saturn is the planet of responsibility and the Moon is the planet of emotions. Are conjunct in your 8th house, which is all about obsession desire, sex, death, money, um, and all stuff connect that can make, can make us feel very primal. And the good news is that's trining Mercury, the planet of communication, in the position in your chart, which is about spirituality and enlightenment. So you have the opportunity to really deal with a core issue and communicate it to someone and to transform it in some way. Um, and that's also sextile Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, who we don't like to mess with in your career sector. So there's some big shift in all the energies in your life that week, or this week rather, and you're like, whew, you know, this is rather full on. But it is, you're a warrior, you're an Aries, you know, you're, you're the one that toddles forward in a fearless fashion. So just make sure that you're super and uber honest with yourself. Now the double yod really kicks in on the 31st. And that's when you should have a spiritual revelation or some situation occurs, which is about you having to deal with reality in some way, the reality of your soul and shifting through some very ingrained pattern. Very, very powerful stuff. Not one to be sniffed at, one to be embraced and to pay full attention to whatever comes up for you at the end of March and the beginning of April. Also, Sun and Venus are conjunct in your sign, fabulous news, but it's squaring Pluto in the 10th. So it may be that you really just want to feel love and you're letting work slip in some way, or there's a transformation connected to your career and a lover is really supporting you or helping you in some way. I can't tell you how profound this week is. I can't exactly tell you how it's going to manifest for you, but all I could say is be vigilant and open your heart up, be compassionate for yourself and other people this week, and all should be well. Let me know. Take, I'm an Aries too, so whew, I'm with you on that one. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.